as you can see people I'm driving off-road in the new VW Touareg R and the car is not just a basic Touareg it's the R version which means it has 462 horsepower 700 Newton meters out of a 3 liter V6 turbocharged engine plus a hybrid system so maximum output 462 horsepower and we're driving through the woods and our day one task is to cl climb the mountain Limbara so this is the first task that VW gave us we have like nine people that are driving the same car so you'll see the two hour connection because they want to show you that their car is not just for business people driving on streets but also for the ones that want to dare and drive through the woods and on rocks but we have off-road tires so really the thick ones so I'm pretty confident that they're going to do a great job okay so we have a lot of stones and a lot of big potholes and when I say big potholes I mean watch this it is absolutely crazy driving over those things watch that watch the pothole here watch it holy crap so I really need to watch out Watch how I'm rolling. <laughs> so now it's steady again. Oh my god, man, you really need to watch out the depth of, of it. And those stones are so sharp and pointy, they can destroy your tires easily. So you really need to watch out. I mean, holy crap, they're going to sell the car afterwards. <laughs> Shit. People, we made it stage one. As you can see, mountain roads, stones everywhere, and the car survived. But not everyone came out very clear. As you can see, the Touareg, this Luxus SUV, this Luxus SUV, made it. But some of the, the cars have little scratches like here. They really, it was really, really an intense drive. You see, you have seen it in the footage. The cars climbed over rocks, get into very deep potholes get out of those potholes get through the dirt it was crazy it was an absolute insane experience and sometimes i was very scared because the stones really you you heard them scratch underneath the car and everybody got out of the car and watched their cars it was insane like five or six people really got under the car to see what they have done it was insane and the problem was the weather changed quickly rain started coming onto the road so it it kind of made the dirt even worse and you had very bad circumstances to drive on top but hey now we made it and we are on a track road now. so uh <laughs> let's see what the next challenge is all right people second day of driving this tuareg to its limits so yesterday was very very much uh, uh, rocks and everything and today is going to be a sand day so uh, let's see how the Touareg does can't wait to uh, drive there so I mean just just for you that you know it you can book this this experience this VW experience you can book it and you can go as a private person and this is something you know when you're driving along casually here and it is so beautiful they are picking up every hotel they're bringing you to very nice dinings you have very nice food, very nice views. The environment here in Sardinia is incredible. It is so, so healthy. It's in a, such a healthy zone. Every plant has a wonderful green color. It's not that, that dry color that we used from the south of Balkans, for example. It's very green. It's almost like Switzerland and I love it. So that is the goal for today. We're going to meet in a couple of minutes when we get to the off-road part so stay tuned all right people so we are here at this sandy pace behind me is a lake actually it's not the sea 
but it looks very wonderful and I wanted to show you the car from the outside on the vlog because now it's pretty dirty but not as much as, as it's going to be after we're gonna go off-road so the tires are filled with sand and as you can see the car has really worked its way through those sandy parts and I really think uh, if we oh by the way I mean <laughs> that's the outfit you need for an off-road drive man Santoni shoes brother <laughs> Typical as is. I really like that part. It is very nicely made. And when I saw this R, I didn't know I didn't know if it was just the R line or something, but this is actually the most brutal car you can get from the Touareg. And look how nice it looks. Still business, you can't see anything. You don't see it has 462 horsepower, you don't see it's accelerating five seconds to a hundred, you don't see anything, you think. It's a normal Touareg for the family until it steps on the gas and rips you apart. So we are at the highest position possible because we're driving over this hilly parts and sandy bits and as you can see it's quite wobbly <laughs> but this is just ridiculous. I mean look what we're driving through. Wonderful! And I have to find a way to let the car do its job, stay on the brake with the left foot and on the throttle with the right foot just to give it some right impulse. So that looks very good. And now accelerate a little because there is enough place to do so. Okay, that's good. Take some time and here are the sandy bits. Wow! Stay on the throttle here. Watch out. That is great. <laughs> Watch this. It's controlling itself. That's what I mean by technology. And now gently on the throttle and get out of this. Yeah. That's how you do it, brother. Yesterday we occurred some problems, man. Our mentality was all almost broken. We lost a lot of equipment. We lost the drone, the GPS tracker did work on the GoPro, couldn't find it. We were climbing on foreign people's properties. There were like cows, bulls, uh, <laughs> snakes, whatever, rattling around the bushes. Alessandro was trying to find the drone. I was trying to find it also, but <laughs> we didn't manage to do it. So yeah, that was a shitty day. And then as if it wasn't worse enough, we lost the goddamn GoPro. We lost it. Okay. We put it on the roof. We drove 150, 60 kilometers with it. And then all of a sudden, on a mountain road, the GoPro disappears. <laughs> She's away. So we started. Everybody had to, had to move on. I told them, listen, you don't have to wait for us. We're going to find it and we were searching for an hour. Same shit again, cows, bulls, uh, <laughs> snakes, whatever, going through the bushes, scratching our legs, scratching our arms, whatever. And then a good guy came, just a local Sardinian guy, asked us what we were searching, and in like five minutes, the guy found it. That restored the faith in humanity, so I gave him 50 bucks, huh? It was 50 bucks. Anyway, that was a backstory of the day two, the most fucked up day. Day three has started. We are driving for half an hour and nothing has gone wrong so far. <laughs> so, <laughs> so we're driving those mountain roads now. The Tuareg is working fine. The only thing that I would mention is if you don't plug it in in the evening and let the batteries charge, you're not gonna drive this car under 10 liters. No chance. Other than that, I never looked at the car, never looked at never was interested in buying one because I always felt like uh, it's I, I thought it was a shit car for the money if I'm honest but now that I'm driving it we both we are so pleasantly surprised we are driving off-road so the Touareg is still behaving very well it is such a solid car that I really don't have anything to add to it I could pepper it out a little bit and uh, tell you it's the best car I've ever driven and stuff like that but no, it's just a very nice, comfortable drive. And it's a very 
high quality premium luxury SUV that is capable of doing roads like this for example I mean the funny thing is I always talked shit about cars like that you know I always talked shit and said you cannot use cars like this on off-road they're not real off-road cars they're not a Range Rover Defender or anything but they're proving to us that they're absolutely capable of going such roads I mean you saw it at the first day we were climbing very steep and uh, high high uh, mountain roads then the second day we were driving through sand and stuff and now third day we're driving through a mix of rocks and sand you're just enjoying your life along driving this off-road roads and I could drive a little faster but the, fun, the, the interesting thing is it's everything is steered electronically so there is no no fancy all-wheel drive system that is helping you or uh, or, or like the real off-road cars that you see that have mechanical axles and stuff like that no it is uh, it's steered by electronics so the computer calculates okay how much slippage you have and it, it gives you more power to the front wheels or to the right one everyone singularly calculated by a, a computer so it works fine and there's really nothing anymore to say to that I think you got the message I hope you enjoyed the uh, driving experience we tried to give you everything that we um, yeah found out ourselves and it's more focused on driving and not so the uh, after part like the eating part and stuff like that nobody cares about that driving shots talking about the drive going off-road that's what we're all about people we are getting to the end of our sardinia special as you can see we really took the car through dirt and everything and it went all well nothing major happened no outtakes nothing everything worked fine the suspension works fine the brakes work fine the acceleration for uh, the engine everything works perfectly well it's practically like it came out of factory but I, I just want to give you one summary. I think it's very important and nice to see what cars like this are capable of doing. And I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure to subscribe, make sure to like the videos, go to Instagram, to TikTok, to see some outtakes, to see some funny stuff and uh, enjoy. See you next time, bye.